Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from Salads and Sandwiches of 1917, we're going to be making the tomato sandwich. And if you think it's just tomato, yeah, no. So the first thing we have to do is make a mustard dressing. And to start things off for that, we need to add flour to dry mustard and combine. Next, we need to beat an egg into some cream. Next, we melt some butter in a double boiler. Now we add in our mustard flour mixture and add in a combination of vinegar and water. Now we season with salt, cayenne pepper, and sugar. Now we add in our egg and cream mixture and cook it for 15 minutes until it's uh, like a custard, I guess. This will be interesting. Well, it definitely got thicker, although it's not super thick, but now I'm gonna let it cool and it'll probably thicken up uh, quite a bit more. Yep, definitely thickened up. Okay, so now we're gonna mix mustard dressing with tomato. It doesn't say how much dressing you use, doesn't say how much tomato you use, nor how much salt or pepper, but you better use one teaspoon of sugar. Yes, one thing had measurements. Now we're to spread cream cheese on brown bread, and that's uh, not whole wheat bread quite, but also not white sandwich bread. Slightly sweetened. Then we put our tomato mustard mixture onto our bread. It's a bit drippy, so I'm gonna use a plate. All right, let's give this tomato sandwich a go. Get a little bit of a tang from the cream cheese. A fair amount of sweetness from the tomatoes. And what's interesting is that mustard dressing that we made, super tangy on its own completely mellowed out once it hit the tomatoes with the uh, sugar, salt, and pepper. I do want to try and plus it up a little though. I'm gonna add some tarragon from our garden. Okay, let's give this tomato sandwich plus up with a little fresh tarragon. Go. Getting a little bit of a kind of anise flavor, herbaceousness, it's offsetting the sugar a little bit, which is good. All right, so the original tomato sandwich, I, you know, making that mustard dressing was a bit of a pain, sure. Um, and the amount of sugar in everything was kind of weird. I think the sugar added to the tomatoes might've been to offset maybe unripe tomatoes or off-season tomatoes. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I would say the original sandwich, a little too sweet for my liking. I did like the nuttiness of the brown bread, uh, the tang of the cream cheese. I'm gonna give that four and a half. Plus up with a little fresh tarragon, five. Uh, I will finish it, but I don't think I'll ever make this again because there's so many other great tomato sandwiches out there, including the tomato from Turkey and the Wolf. Make it if you haven't, okay? All right, see you tomorrow. 